Coyote was out wandering around one day when he ran into an old lady. She greeted him and said, Where are you headed? Ah, just out roaming around, said Coyote. The old woman replied, Well, you better quit going that way. You're going to meet a giant who kills everybody. Ha! The Coyote laughed. Giants don't frighten me. Plus, I don't even think they're real. And even if they were real, I always kill them. And I'll fight this one too and make an end of him. Well, he's bigger and he's closer than you think, said the old woman. Ah, well, said Coyote. Giants can't be much bigger than a bull moose, and I can take down one of those pretty easy. So Coyote told the old woman goodbye, and whistling a tune, he went on his way. And then he saw a fallen branch on the road that looked like a bat. Picking it up, he said, Hmm, I guess if I see the giant, I can carry this stick with me. It should be big enough to kill one. So he kept on walking, and then he came to a huge cave right in the middle of the road. And not even paying attention, he walked right in. Suddenly, there were all kinds of people in there. What's going on, he said. Oh, we're all starving. We're all too weak. We can hardly walk or do anything. What are you doing with that stick? Huh, well, I'm going to kill the giant with it, Coyote said, as if he knew what the heck he was doing. The people laughed. You're already in the giant. What? How can I be in his belly? I never even met the giant. Well, you probably thought it was a cave when you walked in, they all said. It's easy to walk in. Nobody ever walks out. This giant's so big... You can't even really see him with your eyes. His whole belly fills an entire valley. So Coyote threw his stick away and got depressed. What else could he do? Soon, he found even more people, half of them dead and half of them half dead. What are you guys, all sick? Nah, we're just starving to death, trapped inside the giant. What do you think we're doing in here? You're foolish, said Coyote. If we're really inside the giant, then it turns out the walls must be made of meat, right? so we can just start cutting the meat off the wall and eating him. Well, we never thought of that, they all said. Well, it's because you're not as smart as I am. Duh. Coyote took his knife, and he started cutting chunks out of the cave walls. And as he guessed, it was indeed meat and fat, and all the people ate the giant meat. So Coyote gave all the people inside the giant some meat, and all the people in the giant's belly started to feel stronger and better. But they still weren't completely happy. You know, this is great and all, but we're still trapped in this big giant. Don't worry, said Coyote. I'll kill him by stabbing him in the heart. Anybody know where the heart is? It's got to be around here someplace. Hmm. Look at the volcano over there. That's probably the heart beating all that blood. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is the heart. So it is, friend, said Coyote, and he began to cut at the mountain. Then the giant spoke. Is that you, Coyote? I've heard of you. Stop stabbing and cutting me. Let me alone. You can leave through my mouth. Get out of here. I'll leave, but not quite yet, said Coyote, hacking at the heart. He told the others to get ready. As soon as he starts to feel like he's going to die, there's probably going to be an earthquake. And then he'll open his mouth, and then we can run out, and then he'll die. So be ready. As soon as you see the mouth open, we gotta go. So Coyote cut a deep hole in the giant's heart, and all the blood started to flow out. The giant groaned and trembled, and then the mouth opened. Quick, everybody out, said the coyote. And the last one through was the big fat wood tick. The giant's teeth were closing in, but the coyote managed to snag him and pull him out just in time. Ah, damn it, said the wood tick. I'm all flat now. Well, it must have happened when I pulled you through, said the coyote. You're probably always going to be flat from now on. At least you're alive. Yeah, I guess you're right, said the tick. The end, and that's how coyote killed the giant. Thanks for supporting Lore and Legends. It really means a lot to me. Short stories like this are the ones that I really enjoy because they're really old and they're myths and legends in their own right, but most people have never really heard of them. And so often when we think of old myth, it's easy to get all serious and woo and stuff like that. But I thought this was a pretty entertaining story. And there's quite a few stories like this in the Native American side of things that, you know what, they're just entertainment and there's nothing wrong with that. So thanks again for supporting. There's going to be a lot more stuff like this in the future. See ya. The music in this episode was Sneaky Snitch by Kevin McLeod, available at incompetech.com, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 4.0.